Tia Mori, uh, show my next act. Are you watching? Comment below. Let me know if you're watching. Be sure to check out the video I just did that talked about, uh, oh my God, why is Tia Mori crying so much over Corey? Uh, I share some wisdom. Let me know if you watch the video and what did you think about the video? Okay, so I forgot to do a video and the video I forgot to do is you better be careful. You talk about Tia and Corey, you might end up like Tia and Corey. And I'm like, huh? Didn't Tia go file for a divorce? And I would never end up like Tia. You know why? Because I would have never chosen a husband I had to take care of. I would never choose a man where I had to be the breadwinner. Like, how do you even lay down with a man you have to take care of, girl, and pay all the bills? How do you respect him and honor him and adore him and praise him and admire him? Oh, my God. But anyways, in my community section, go over in the community. It's hot, 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 hot. In my community section, I'm going to be doing a community readout shout out for people soon. Um, I wanted to share something really quick and then some other comments I'm kind of throwing together. Okay. Um, uh, so be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, share this out. I absolutely love you. Thank you for all that you've done. Take everything off the, the, uh, the... and so let's go to the comments here that said, Chris Henry, you know, that's the dusty, right? <laughs> I don't know, but anyways. Chris Henry says, so I did Corey Hart, Jackie T. divorce was a mistake because everybody's saying she's crying because it's a mistake. So I'm just going to read about three or four sentences here. Then I'm going to talk about this really, really, really quick. It says, first of all, Tia and Corey started dating when they were very young, around 18 and 19. So he was 18, she was 20. The average person, both male and female, would not be in any financial position to be making a six-figure or more salary, okay? Tia had her parents to thank for making her a child star. If it were not for them, she might have been just as broke as Corey. The average man, unless born into a wealthy family, wouldn't have had wouldn't had any wouldn't have any great financial independence financial independence that he can make unless he was into drugs or something illegal stats will show that most men financial and their career start to peak in their 30s and upwards. Corey was working. He didn't have a ser series. I think he meant a series like sister, sister, but he was. When they got married, Corey, da, 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 so, so. so this is the part I, I want to read about, and you could read the, the book. I mean, this person left a book on here. You could re read the rest of it. This person is right, right? At 19 and 20, men are not prepared to play their role. What is the role of a husband? The role of a husband is to provide, protect, profess. So if you are not ready at 18 and 19 and 20 and 25 to provide, to protect, and to profess, why are you getting married? I can't walk around because I got my pajama on and I'm not dressed, dressed, if you know what I mean, okay? I was just laying on the couch and was like, oh, I forgot to do this video. Chris says, let's read it again, what he said. 
First of all, Corey Sardin in it. The average person, both male and female, would not be in any financial position to be making a six-figure or more salary. Tia had her peers to thank. Uh, she might have been broke as Corey. The average man, unless born into a wealthy family, wouldn't have had financial independence that he can make unless he was into drugs or illegal stats. She will show that most men, financial and their career, start to peak in their 30s and upwards so my question is why y'all getting married at 19 and 20 and 21 and 22 and 25 ladies why are you making emotional decisions to marry a man who is not financially stable. Why do you make emotional, because that's all emotions, right? I love him. I want to be with him. We're going to make it work. It's okay. We can struggle together and we go make it. until you've been struggling and struggling and struggling and then you become what the naked wife you was already the naked wife but it becomes more apparent that you are the naked wife because you're not covered your husband is not able to cover you so chris tell me why y'all getting married at 19 and 20 and 21 22 23 24 25 when you are not in a position to play your role Ladies, why are you making emotional decision to marry a man who is not able to play his role? That's like Proverbs talk about giving a message, a very important message to a man with a broken leg. He's not going to be able to deliver the message to the king. His leg is broken. He can't get there. So the question is, Chris, why are y'all making Lifetime decision when you are not in a place to make lifetime decisions. And for y'all broke, financially illiterate people, oh, you know, if your husband lost your job, sweetheart, my husband is getting ready to retire. He's really waiting on me. Boo-boo, if my husband is getting ready to retire, and we is broke, shame on me. And I've been married to this man for 12 years. Oh, if you're, they used to say this a lot. I don't get this enough more in my comments, but if your husband lose your job, we don't live paycheck to paycheck. If he loses his job, what? If my husband loses his job, he's gonna get a package. Huh? He's gonna send an email to his headhunter, and he gonna come home and get a suit, and be on the first six floors of DC. Thank God, in twelve years, all has been well. Hollywood, thank you, just press a little shout, 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 shout. If you don't know why my hair is like this, watch the other video. Oh my God, why is Tia crying? See why my hair is like. Do you understand? I'm six years away from retirement. I'll be retired at 52. I am 47 years old tomorrow. October 11th is my birthday. I am six years away from retirement. Boo boo, I can't even get social security <laughs> when I retire. I'll be retired at 52 years old. And the earliest I can claim social security, I think is 62. Or is it 66 to 67? I don't know, girl. I don't care. Don't matter. We're not dependent on Social Security. But, boo boo, I'll be retiring at 52 years old. And, a matter of fact, if things had worked out for me, if I had thought, really, really think it through when I was getting this job, I could have been retiring in two years at 50. So if my husband loses his job, can't work, can't provide, end up like Tia, be a breadwinner, girl, never. I would have never married him. I would see my husband is a shepherd. I chose a shepherd. 
Y'all make emotional decisions. The reason why a lot of women marry their husband is because of emotions, not me. I'm not saying I don't, I'm not emotionally involved, but mine is more of an analytical reasons. My husband is a shepherd. I'm writing a book about the shepherd husband. I think I wrote about it in 23 Tasks of Guys. I mentioned it briefly. If you don't have 23 Tasks of Guys, pick it up and read about the shepherd husband. My husband is a shepherd. So even if he gets sick, if he get fired, if he can't work, boo boo, it is still his responsibility to provide for me and our children. You know why? He's a shepherd. That's the difference between a shepherd and marrying 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, who is not financially stable to play his role. So no, I ain't going to be no breadwinner. That's not who I marry. I did not marry a man who would cause me to be the breadwinner. I would not marry a man who look at me when it's time for the mortgage. I just mean Lex is my birthday. I just mean Lex, we just went to get our nails done, get my hair done, get her feet done. Boo, I don't even have to touch my bank account. <laughs> Here you go, baby. Here you go, baby. How much you need? You need 500. 500 is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 500 is good. I, I, I didn't marry a man who's going to look at me and talk about what we going to eat, where we hold the rent's going to pay. I didn't marry a man where right after I had the baby, I had to run back to work like Tia had to run back to work after she had her son. That's not who I married. But when you marry somebody who is not established, who is not in his place to play his role to be the head of the home, and hand up the head of the family, you will end up being like Tia. And that's why I come up here every day yelling and screaming from the mountaintop, begging young women to make sure you choose wisely. Do you understand that your husband is the second most important decision you will ever make? So you need to choose your husband wise. Don't make emotional decision. I'm not saying you're not emotionally attracted to my, to, to your man. You know what I mean? Like when you read, when you read <clears throat> my book, Dating's for Data, you will see all the guys I turned down because I didn't like something about him. He had crooked teeth. He had big lips. Okay. He got dirty fingers, dirty sh he couldn't make my panties wet. So, yeah, very much emotionally involved, but not making an emotional decision. What I mean, make my panties wet. Let me correct that. Because I, just... I mean, I like a certain type of a man. The way he carries himself, the way he speaks, his voice. His attributes, him being a gentleman, all of those things I find extremely sexy. His ability to provide, being kind and gracious. So I'm not saying not be emotionally attractive to the man you're choosing to marry, but I'm saying is it needs to be an analytical decision is this man a hunter or is he like this guy here talking about what well, I 19 and 20 they they they, they ain't established they they ain't got it don't get married if you're not able to play your role do not get married and a lot of you women are choosing men based on emotions and then you're going to end up like Tia where you've been struggling and dragging and, oh, my God, when is he going to make it? And you're going to end up walking away and tearing your family apart because the initial decision, your foundation was not right. I have to go, girl. I got to go take my nap. Okay, I'm taking a nap today. And I take a nap every day when I'm home. Okay? 
I love you. If you do not have two or three types of guys you might meet, I wrote about the shepherd in here, Mr. Shepherd. You need to read about the shepherd type of husband. I'm going to write a book about that. I got to start writing shorter books. My editors are on my ass. <laughs> Uh, but the I did write briefly about the shepherd husband. And what you need, ladies, is a shepherd. You don't need no wolf in sheep's clothing. I'm not saying cause of wolf. I'm just saying you need a shepherd. God, love you. Talk to you later. Bye.